Hey, thanks for joining me. Next in my series of Inflation Buster knives is the Mora 510. Mora makes some really affordable knives and this one is one of their most affordable. Really good quality high carbon steel, uh, very useful knife, very useful design. And these are very popular with outdoor people in the very popular in the bushcrafting community. But it's just a great all-around knife for a variety of uses. And so let's uh, put it on the workbench. I'll, I'll show you some of the features of it and let's take a look. Okay, today we're looking at the Mora 510. Now the Mora 510 has been around quite a while for Mora. It, um, nothing really super fancy about it. It's got a polypropylene handle. It's got a, a blade that is uh, 3.7 inches long, 2 millimeters thick. Not a super thick blade. The overall length is 8.2 inches and it weighs about three and a half ounces. So it's fairly lightweight. It's uh, this the Mora 510 is high carbon steel. It is not stainless steel, so this will rust if you get it wet and don't oil it. A lot of people like to uh, force a patina on these knives and use different uh, chemicals to create different effects and different patterns. And, and if you're into that, certainly you can definitely do that with it. But this is uh, being a Mora knife. It's Scandi ground, so it's you know it's a flat blade up to the point that there is the angle for the edge and then that goes all the way to the edge there is no secondary bevel so when you sharpen these basically you know on the stone you just bring it up until that pretty wide angled area is on the stone and you're at the right angle so that makes them pretty easy to sharpen because there is no secondary bevel the angle of the edge is very acute it's very um, it gets very sharp and these are very popular for uh, doing wood carving for all kinds of other craft uses for use as uh, just a general outdoor knife the uh, 510 was kind of upgraded a while back they uh, changed the design internally so that the tang is now a three-quarter length tang so it is internal but instead of I think it was about half uh, length down the handle before now they've lengthened that to three-quarter so I mean yeah you could break it if you really tried I'm sure but if you use a knife properly the way it's supposed to be used, I don't think you would ever break these. And they do have a lifetime guarantee, so unless you're just abusing it, I don't think you would have any problem with it. Would it withstand some minor uh, batoning uh, to split wood? Yeah, I think it would take that just fine. Um, but it, um, it's not a super heavy duty knife, but they are pretty popular in the bushcraft community. Maybe not as a main bushcraft knife necessarily but certainly as a carving knife and a, a utility knife for other things. People that do bushcraft with it tend to file the spine of the knife so that it's sharp, so they can use it with a ferro rod to strike sparks. Um, so if, if you want to do that, you can too. So this knife from um, Mora USA, which I think their website is actually industrialrev.com. Um, if you just search for more USA, you'll find the USA website. But they're, they're $16.99 on their website. On Amazon, this knife was only $14.04 .04 this morning. And on Blade HQ, it was $12.99. It's even cheaper, but they were out of stock at Blade HQ. So the uh, high carbon steel that Mora uses in their knives has a 1% carbon content. And that puts it in the class of uh, steels similar to say 1095 which is a very popular knife steel high carbon knife steel they, so these you know are nice and properly hardened they will hold an edge well they've got a very acute edge angle so they get very sharp and um, yet they're pretty easy to sharpen so these are just a great all-around use knife I would I would say you want to have one of these in every one of your you know packs if you're going outdoors um, have one in your workshop. I mean, they're just so affordable. There's no reason not to have a few of these around the house. Now, the sheath it comes with is plastic. Um, it's got a belt loop on it, so you can you know you can run a belt through it. It also has this buttonhole thing on the back of it, where you can actually slide this over uh, like a large metal button on a pair of jeans or. Um, like overalls, bib overalls or something, it'll snap onto a button. Um, you can hang it from a button that way. It'll also, there are some other Mora sheets that have a little um, protrusion on the front that allows you to snap this over that protrusion on the front of another Mora sheath and actually hang one knife in front of the other. 
Um, it does have a drain hole in it, so if um, you know if you get water in it, it's going to drain. One of the things I found about this sheet, though, that was a little bothersome, in, is that the sheet was not very snug. So when you would slide the knife in, when I first got this, it would click in, but it was you, it, it rattled around, and if you shook it very hard, the knife literally could fall out. It just wasn't very tight. So what I did with this sheath is I submerged this sheath in boiling water for a few seconds and then took a small, this is a clamp, but I took a small Bessie clamp like this and actually squeezed the plastic so that it was tighter front to back and let it cool off. And once the plastic cooled, then the um, sheath was much tighter. So now the sheath actually starts to meet some resistance about here. So the, the handle is, you know, you can see the this swell on the handle right here is, is about right in here. It's, it's right in the area I started to squeeze it. And um, meets a little bit of resistance and then when it meets the click it's a good firm click and it doesn't rattle at all. You can't shake this knife out of the sheath. Um, so you know, it's, it's not going to get lost that way. So, like I say, the sheath could use some tightening, but it was a very simple process. L literally just put it in some boiling water, and if you have a clamp of some kind, you can just, you don't have to squeeze it much, just apply a little bit of pressure to it to flatten it a little. Just leave it, leave it that way till it cools off, and the sheath tightens up really nicely. So, um, you know, I may consider making a leather sheath for it, but it, um, this plastic sheath actually, from a utility standpoint, will work quite well. So there you have it. Very affordable, very useful knife, a very useful blade shape. The Scandi grind is just, if you've ever used a knife with a Scandi grind for wood carving or for doing most things, they just cut amazingly well. And it's good quality steel in this knife. Got a good carbon content, so it's, it's you know, going to hold an edge really well. So just an all around, just another great knife from Mora. Hey. Thanks for watching my review of the uh, Mora 510. It's a really just great classic style knife that's got a lot of uses. It's very inexpensive, good quality, something that will serve you well, have a lot of uses, and uh, certainly won't break the bank. Well, if you have any thoughts or questions, please don't hesitate to leave me a comment. I always love to hear from you. If you would, please click the like and subscribe buttons to help the channel grow. And as always, thanks for watching.